Welcome back. Now in this video, we're going to show you how to take your autoresponder form and place it on your WordPress website. And it's a fairly easy process to do, although you might want to uh, size or or may, or adjust the size of your autoresponder or squeeze page but we're first just going to show you how to get it on to your website now you probably recall the page where we created our squeeze page or our autoresponder page and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the publish button here and you're gonna notice that we use the uh, we use get response to host our form the last time but what we can do is we can click this button that says we will install our own form. And so in order to do that, all we've got to do is to pick up this JavaScript code right there, copy it. And then what we're going to do is we are going to go over to uh, the, the, uh, our WordPress website. We can put it on a page. We can put it inside of a post or we can put it in a widget. Now, in this particular case, we're just going to use a page here. I'm going to add a new page. And I'm going to go over to the text area and I'm going to put my code in there. I'm going to click publish. And I'm going to give my page a title. And then we're going to click publish. Once we've done that, if we can view the page here and our WordPress uh, website now has our autoresponder form, all we've got to do is we can name uh, this or we can adjust it to look the way we want on our website. But that is uh, how you get your form onto your website. You can put it inside of a post. You can also put it inside of a widget pretty much you can make it as flexible as you want inside of WordPress. Now, once again, uh, if these things are too technical for you or you want to do something specific, the best suggestion is that you would go ahead and have this outsourced. It is something that people can do very inexpensively and you can spend your time then on marketing your business. So with that, thanks and I will see you in another video.